Welcome to Classic Game Room. You know what more than meets the eye? Transformers. They're robots in disguise. But before Transformers Prime and the movies, there was Transformers, the video game on the PlayStation 2. Worth playing? Let's find out. This 2004 release is from Atari, with a clever little intro screen. Aw, that's cute. And speaking of cute, this game features... The Minicons. The Minicons. I can't say I remember them. They're like Smurf-sized Transformers that you fly to Earth and rescue from the clutches of the evil Decepticons. Autobots, we must stop Megatron. Roll out! Transformers Fall of Cybertron. It's not. It feels like a budget-priced title featuring the Transformers, which is kind of strange considering what a hot property the Transformers are now as I'm recording this in 2012. Transformers has its moments, like Optimus Prime being smashed against the wall, followed by him being tossed off the top of a pyramid. It's about time that Goody Two-Shoes gets what he deserves. This is a combination action-adventure exploration game with some end-boss battles where you comb various regions throughout the Earth in search of mini-cons that you equip like special weapons. The gameplay is not too bad and would have probably been really good in 2000 and for Transformers has, frankly, come a long way since this. At least when you look at the video games. You'll explore some large but incredibly bland environments as you search for these minicons which are surrounded by Decepticons that you can choose to blow up. You'll find minicons that act as more powerful weapons, shields, or wings so that you can reach some of those hard-to-get minicons earlier in the game. You can go back and play earlier levels whenever you want. What this game is really missing, though, is an experience and leveling up system. Because aside from the end boss battles and the occasional minicons surrounded by enemies, there's no reason to fight anything. You can easily drive around herds of roaming Decepticons, or just run them over, because you don't get anything if you blow them up, except maybe some satisfying explosions, which do look pretty good. As you play the game and approach each level, you'll quickly learn that there's a familiar format. Collect minicons, equip them to become more powerful, and worry about the end boss battles. Not the random enemies, which I personally find more fun to destroy. The game is called Transformers, but it could have been called Search for the Minicons, because that's what it really is about. Collecting the minicons and equipping them. You have three Transformers to choose from. Optimus Prime, Hot Shot, and Red Alert. And look, Optimus Prime can fly, albeit not well. And while it's neat to play as Transformers and transform so that you can drive around, but I think you'll find the open world environments lacking. Lacking because there's nothing to do and no reason to attack anything. I think the designers had some good ideas with this game, but did not have the budget to fully execute them. So what you're left with is a decent 2004-era action game where the focus is on exploration and collecting, because there's a lot of unlockable stuff. All featuring the Transformers, of course. Like artwork, comics, and cartoons, if you're a huge Transformers fan, you might enjoy this one, but you just can't compare it to the newer big-budget releases from Activision and High Moon Studios. It's fun to blow up Decepticons, and the explosions look pretty good, but the fact is all I would really have to do here is transform into a truck, drive over to the Minicon, collect it, my game saves that, and then go on about my business, at least until the next end boss battle. Another giant classic game room thank you to our good friend Mohammed from Qatar for sending this one to the show. 
If you like Transformers and if you can find this one out there for a buck or two, which you should be able to, you can have a good time collecting all of the Minicons and seeing what they do, and the end boss battles do get pretty challenging. Although you'll always be playing them in more or less the same way. It's Transformers for the PlayStation 2.